Hi, it's Lee, and we are in John's house, and we're looking at the inside of the chimney where it has been repaired from pulling away, and this is essentially what we have. He's put in a piece of quarter rim and suggested he can't get any closer because there's nothing to nail to, and uh, what is that, a gap of a three-eighths or better in some places. Um, Kevin, option one, I would think, is to use an adhesive to... Um, to get this quarter round a little bit closer if you want to glue it to the brick but then again it's compressing the carpet here so I don't want it to look bad on the front side I'd rather it look a little gappy on the back side but um you know can you think of something that can help him with this from your experiences um and it might be really as good as we can get it let me get that side here and let you look at it but he's mentioned that if you're away from it, just take that shot, it looks pretty good. Um, I've asked to go up underneath house and put in some great stuff, foaming insulation around the chimney perimeter bottom. And um, I think that'll stop with the airflow. We want a piece of blocking around the fireplace interior. It'll run this line here where we have this gap. Um, probably coming up four feet. That looks like six or seven across the front face. And then we'll run it down. That's the color of the wood. Let's see if I can get a good shot. Okay, we'll match that. And that's five-eighths gap right here. That's the biggest point of the gap right here is five-eighths. And, um, we like to get some foam insulation behind that. And, um probably match that as well as we possibly can in color and just put a um, one by one and a half but that's a good shot of the color thanks